How did you end up uh, going from Atletico to Kuwait? And, and what was that experience like uh, managing their national team? Well, I am, I'm very, very ambitious. And uh, I always want to, to develop and to have like different experience that make me grow and take me out of, of the comfort area. So this opportunity of, of uh, Kuwait came. Uh, I wanted to give one more step in my career uh, to, to coach in, in senior teams because in Atletico Madrid I was coaching under 20 the last, the last years. Uh, and I decided, I, th I thought that it was going to be a good experience for not for only for my coaching, also for my life. Uh, different culture, uh, different area, different language, different everything. Um, and uh, this opportunity of, of coming to train and to coach the the Olympic team uh, has been a very good opportunity because uh, we had great experiences in, in a difficult context, working context, because it's the reality, but great experience for, for, for my developing. Uh, we play, we've played the ASEAN qualifiers in, in last September. We qualified the team 10 years after the first time in the history to the ASEAN Cup. After this, uh, the federation gave me the opportunity in summer to, to continue with the, with the first national team. We've had great experiences uh, playing in Europe against uh, Lithuania, against Bosnia, against Czech Republic. Uh, I think that in the, in the last year and a half that I've been here in, in Kuwait, uh, I've been growing so much as a coach and, and this opportunity ha has given, given me a big big uh, experiences for, for my future. You mentioned wanting to get back into club football and just the day-to-day -day, uh, of that. How different is it working in club football versus uh, working for a national team? It's quite different. The, quite, uh, it's very different because um, mainly because in the, in, the, in, this, in the national team, you have to be very precise in the selection of players because you have to be able to keep uh, the performance that they are giving in the club to, to keep uh, giving it with the national team. So you don't have time to, to work with them. The reality is that you take them from the club, you bring them to the national team, you try to put them in the best position, you try to give them like three, three ideas in attack, three ideas in defense, and you have to compete in the, in the best way in a few days. You, have, you need results in... in, in uh, in a small amount of time. So the, 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 I think that the key point is the selection of players. So you have to do like a, a good following up of these players, which are the form of, of these players. So, and you have to have clear ideas of what you want in, in, so you, that you can prepare it in a few days. And on the other hand, you have the, the working in, in a club, that in a club you have time usually, uh, if the results are good, usually you have more time, uh, but you can prepare in, in normal uh, weeks, uh, in five, six, seven sessions, you can prepare games, you can develop and build the, the team with a, with a more um, specific idea of, of what you want. You can, you can develop uh, individual players. This is one of the things that I most missed. Uh, with the national team that I didn't have time to develop these this talent players that I had. So mainly uh, I missed uh, waking up every morning, getting my boots and going to the field. This was one of the, the main points. But uh, this year and a half has uh, given me another perspective of football uh, that I'm sure that is going to be very important for me in the, in the future because now I think that I'm a more complete coach than before.